Hi everyone, welcome to Ansible Learning Series for Network Engineers. This is the 8th video on new Ansible Learning Series. In this video we will see how to use iOS L2 interfaces module for configuring L2 parameters of Cisco devices. In the previous video we have seen how to configure interface attributes such as enable mode, duplex, speed and we have seen some details about the configuration state delete, merged, replaced and overridden. Now here we will see how to manage L2 parameters of the interface. So you can see the parameters what it supports. So we can configure it as access VLAN or trunk port and you have option to give allowed VLANs encapsulation native VLAN pruning under trunk and the configuration state is going to be same as our previous module which is iOS interfaces so let's uh, start writing playbook I'll create a new file here 08 And what we can do is we'll copy and here we'll change the name. So first we'll configure the access port using this. We'll assign to a particular VLAN. So I'll call that as configure access and here in my inventory I have one switch you can see here the IP is 0.71 I'll be using that for the L2 demonstration so I need to change the group to switches in my playbook so I'll be changing this to switches and the module name is going to be L2 underscore interfaces then under configuration we will verify the options under configuration we need to give access and under access we need to give VLAN ID access and under access we will give VLAN 10 and interface will give 0 slash 2 So we'll reset the configuration of this interface. Now it is default. And the configuration state I have explained in the previous video. You can have a look into that. So we'll give state as merged here first. Now we'll try running this playbook. So connection is successful to the switch 1 and we will verify the config. You can see here this has executed switch port access VLAN 10. And here I have given the state as merged. Now what we can do? 
we will configure trunk as well here I will call that as configure trunk and same interface I will configure as trunk here I need to give this as trunk you can see here the details trunk allowed VLANs all these details are there so we will configure allowed VLANs encapsulation and native VLAN encapsulation lq dot one q native villain i will give us five and first we will try giving this configuration state as merged i can comment this part Now let us verify the configuration here. You can see here it has added both config. The previous config switch port access VLAN 10 and then the allowed VLAN encapsulation and native VLAN. So this merged the configuration. Now we will see how we can do a replace here. Trunk with merged trunk with replaced and I'll change this to replaced here in addition to that what we will do we will try printing the commands it is going to execute so we will see whether answer is executing no when we use replace for that we will go to the previous playbook and from here we will copy this so this will store as a variable interface and then we can just print the before after and the executed command details I'll paste it here. Now we'll try running this playbook. So earlier our configuration was like this. Now Now let us verify the config. Here you can see this has executed no switch port access VLAN command. So Ansible is able to identify where to give no when we do the replace. And this was the before command, before configuration state and this is the after. Now we will go and verify the configuration in switch. now we can see here when i used replaced state this has deleted this configuration and it applied only the trunk because in the replaced state i am i have mentioned that i need only this configuration for the device now we'll see overridden 
for that I'll copy this Maybe we'll configure trunk here. And the state I'll mention as overridden. And here we will see other interfaces. So I'll configure 0 slash 3 as another VLAN. of VLAN 10 and let us try running this playbook You can see this has overridden all the interface configuration and this applies only configuration to gigabit 02 and this pushes this configuration. Now similar to that you can even use delete. If you give delete all these attributes will get deleted from the interface. It won't delete IP address. To delete IP address, you need to use iOS L3 interfaces. In the next video, we will see that how to use iOS L3 interfaces module. I hope this video was helpful for you to understand how to use iOS L2 interfaces module and how to configure other parameters like access and VLAN, the difference between merged and replaced state. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.